just levitating upstairs. No! A man! Let's play Whitehaven! Hello and welcome to Hula Noob Plays Short-ish Horror Games. Today I'm going to play, um, I think, a VMF game called Whitehaven. Um, uncover the mysteries of Whitehaven Orphanage in this first-person psychological horror game. Explore the place, collect clues and put the pieces together to find out what happened years ago as you delve deep into your mind. And I'm completely wrong, it is not an FMV, it looks like it. I confused it with another game. Um, Whitehaven is a short story that takes about one hour to complete. Let's see about that because I always take so much longer. But I wanna, I wanna get right into the the reviews are mixed, but you know I, I'm like entertain me and I'm happy. I'm a happy camper. Um, that's really all I want. Entertainment. I will. I will make it lighter. Horror games are too dark. Yeah, that's that's how it is. I don't want to squint. <laughs> Press any key. Somnambulist games. Man, that's a tongue twister. Options. Language. <laughs> yes, language. Okay, a uh, new game. Do you want to start a new game? Yes. We'll see whether I play this through in one episode or whether I will, you know. My name is Rachel and I live at the Whitehaven Orphanage. Two days ago, my friend Claire tried to leave the orphanage, but she got caught. She hasn't come back to her room yet. I'm very worried. I managed to get the room keys from the reception closet. I'm going to get out of here tonight. I can't take it anymore. So you're not going to try to find out what happened to Claire and save her? You're just going to get out? Well, okay. Good good for you, I guess, you know. Can't save anyone or everyone. No, can't save anyone is amazing. Um, okay. Get my flashlight. Oh, that's a nice toy box. This is Mr. Cotton. I'll leave him here so the monsters wait what won't hurt him. How old am I? I'm very small. So I guess... How would we get up there? There's not even a ladder. Also, I'm very slow and my running is... Uh, not very satisfying. Okay, let's first look here. Flashlight? No? Okay, well then, no. This is close. Is this anything? I don't see any. That's why, that's why I said I wanted lighter. Because, I don't know. Hor I, it's so weird. Any horror game devs are like, you know what? If you don't see anything, that's scary. No, it's actually not. <laughs> like, darkness is completely overrated in indie horror games. I mean, one of the great things about Midsommar is it plays completely in daylight and it's terrifying, you know. Oh, I'm so slow. Damn it. So I'm supposed to go here? You know, yeah, let's just follow the game design. Is this a prologue? Like, I'm immediately going to the basement. That feels like a prologue. <laughs> Or maybe, yeah, yeah, th this is a pro- this is- I escape- bup, 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 bup. I'm escaping- oh god, my bup, bup, bup is back, that's- It came one day, during a let's play, it lasted for way too long, and then it went away again, but now it's back, and I don't like it. I w it will not open because there's no electricity. But this is not an electrical door. Maybe this is my memory, and I escaped- oop. Okay, um- and then we play as me, but older. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. I just. Ugh. I hope I'm I'm speedier as an adult, because the picture on the cover of this game. Cover as if it's a physical thing. Um, I think was an adult woman. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. What is this? I don't know. Looks like a TV remote. 
What is this? Nothing. Okay, I don't think there's anything. I hope this is not a run and hide game because the way I move... Oh my god, no. <laughs> like, this is me running. Oh, shit. Is it open now? No. <laughs> Sometimes it's like this. I mean, we can all blame PT for this. Because they really, they did this. That you kind of have to... I think there were other games before that, but it's one of the f worst offenders that you now have to, like, go every path twice or three times to activate some sort of bullshit. To activate the ghosts. Because the ghosts are like, yeah, you can walk this one time. That's totally fine. I allow it. But do it a second time and I will wreak havoc. Do I need to do anything here? I mean, why can't I go here? Let's... What is this even? Huh. Oh no! Ugh. <laughs> it's a bit clunky. Okay, Whitehaven, you are a bit clunky. Oh. Oh man, so that was all for nothing? this now closed and now I have to go back yes <sighs> dun, 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 dun. there's no key oh petrol can oh okay this is is this how electricity works I mean this is just a tank this is okay so now I put okay. This should be enough. I don't think this is how a generator looks like. It's unlocked. Yeah, it better is. So I will find the key here. I need to find something to help me reach that window. Which one? Oh, that one. Yeah, I, there was a there was a ladder in the other room. Anything else? No, this is not really the explory type of game, right? These boxes are too heavy, I can't move them. Okay. Well, thanks for nothing. Funny story. Okay. How ominous. <laughs> so let's go back. Let's get jump scared again. Quite sure. Mm hmm. Blup. Yeah. Can run for shit, but can carry a ladder in my back pocket. Alright. Just levitating upstairs. No! A man just running at me. He looked like he's someone threw him at me. <laughs> oh my god, that would be amazing. Do I have like a movie? It would have to be a super it probably exists in a superhero environment. My name you know? is Rose Davies. Oh. And I used to work as a teacher at Whitehaven Orphanage. I feel like it's been a long time since then. I can barely remember what the place was like. Lately, I've been having dreams that evoke the orphanage. Headaches. Anxiety. My therapist, Dr. Tramis, has recommended that I visit the place. He says it might help me sort out my thoughts. Everything seems like a dream to me. Every day. Every second. I feel like... I'm 
I sound so young and I'm like, it feels thousand years ago that I was a teacher at this orphanage. No, I was the kid there. I know it. I totally know it. Anyways, what was I talking about? Yeah, to have a superhero where they're like, oh no, he's getting Your away. Throw me. <laughs> I think this is something that Hulk and Thor would do, I think. They probably already did this. I'm just forgetting it and reiterating an idea that someone else had. Okay. Wait, my name is Rose. Did I get that right? Or is that completely your Sophie? This I don't know. Place, yeah, it looks... Alright. That's... The door stuck. It won't open. I can just climb this. This is not too hard. I would climb this. I would step on here and then I would go on there. And then that's that. But yeah, this will do as well. Do we do? Let's go into the creepy... I don't know what it is. Like, clock tower. Can I open this? No. Can I open this? No. Ooh, orphanage's key. They're just old books. Well... <sighs> There's this thing to, to force gameplay where people will, like, put stuff there. And you can click on it. And then you get the most banal description that does nothing to forward the story. You know, it, it doesn't even say, oh, these are teaching books, which would... That's lore, you know, that tells, like, that broadens the environment, that immerses me. But they're just old books? No, you don't, then don't let me click it, you know, if you don't have anything. Tragedy in the orphanage. Look, that is lore, that I appreciate. And I know it's because so many people talk shit about um, walking simulators, you know, because so many... Gamers are t complete assholes when it comes to games that are more about exploration than like shooting a way through or running and hiding um, all the time. But, you know, I'd rather have like not an interaction than an interaction that doesn't do anything to the story. It's the same with choice based games where like where you make choices that don't really feel like meaningful the lights are on is anybody here hello whitehaven orphanage the whitehaven orphanage is a non-profit institution for abandoned children here they will be able to develop and grow together both in an academic and social environment since 1875 we have taken care of all these unfortunate little ones thanks to your donations our facilities allow children to access a large number of services, some of which include primary and secondary education classes, tutorials and personalized support, gym and play areas, library, nursing and periodic medical checkups, socialization and integration sessions. What's integration sessions? That's That sounds threatening. Can we open this? The door is screwed in. I can't open it. That is so weird. The door is jammed from the outside. Oh, man. Lots of non-working doors here. I mean, if it's abandoned, can we just, like, completely crash, trash the place, you know? Kick the doors down. The clock is loose. I think I could open it by passing something through the slit. Maybe my sharp humor. <laughs> okay, it's locked. Aha! Let's look for a credit card. <laughs> But I'm having fun with this. That's the thing. I love exploration games because as a let's player, they are gold. They're, s they're just gorgeous. I am the janitor. I'm leaving this note in case anyone has seen the storage room keys. I left them on my desk, but I can't find them anywhere. I need to get some reports urgently, so I would appreciate it if you could keep an eye out for them. I heard some kids whispering in the bathroom and I'm sure those kids have taken the keys. Do something about it. If you find them, let me know. I'll be in the yard trimming the hedges. I love that. So I am the janitor. Just consider that you write work emails like this. I am the editor. And I want to ask if you have some information about this text I am about to write. <laughs> okay. Um, storage room keys. Yeah. I will forget this. But I think this is a game that's not... Probably not too harsh on puzzles. 
anything else here? So far not. Oh, there are medical room, storage room, meeting room. Okay. Okay. Mm. Ah, ha! So let's look for the key. Toilet ghost? Hello, toilet ghost. You can come out. Is there the key? Yes. Yes! It's a key in the toilet! That only happens in horror games. At least in my life. I don't know about you. I don't know how often you found keys in your toilet, but... Zero! Oh, sorry. Zero in my case. Gotta be careful with, like, signs like this before you, you know, inadvertently make, like, a horrible Nazi sign or whatever. I like that this smudge on the toilet looks like a handprint. That's a nice little detail that I appreciate. The door knocking. Meh. Meh. It's, meh. It's okay. But very expected. Okay, nothing here. I remember this classroom. I used to work here. I think it, the the aversion to um, more explorative walking simulator games is that people can't fathom that there are different kinds of experiences you can have with video games. You know, a lot of people are so hell bent. It's a teddy bear. Aww. Achievement unlocked. Bear. Oh, I want to catch them all. Um. Especially because this, you know, triple A games always have like intense shooting gameplay. Sometimes even too much, you know. Um, where I feel like, well, in a way, a lot of the triple A games start to resemble each other too much. Especially the open world games, they all feel the same. I can't go out there. Um, but because of that, because you can do so much in these games, you know, especially kill people, people get incredibly the weird. Is stained. It looks like dried blood. Oh no! Yeah, people can't understand that you can experience a story in in another way than shooting your way out of it. <laughs> there, the door is screwed in. I can't open it, but I did. Did I just throw the crowbar? Oh. I shouldn't throw it away. Oh, I like this. This is probably super meaningful. Okay, th so this is the angel, but she wears black. But I don't know whether the color coding back then was that black was the sin or not. She also has a black dress. Very interesting. And the door in the background. It's very ominous. I like this. <laughs> Oh, I like this. And it's creepy. That is creepy! Like, I like it and I don't. I hope I don't have to run away. Eat. Because the proportions are all off. That's what makes it creepy. Can I close this? Oh my god, I can't. Oh my god, is this a running... <laughs> Okay. Damn. That got me! It got me. The first time this game got me. It's 19 minutes. Congratulations. 106. Isaac and Harry. I don't know. I, I don't know if I need it, but you know, better safe than sorry. Don't worry, I'll edit this. So what? what oh god, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> One, zero, six. My desk is so small. It's too small. Okay. Oh, but I can open these. Oh, I can't. Oh, yeah. So that's um. One, two. Sebastian and Alan. And this is one, three. E and James. I don't even know whether I need this. Like. Okay. I 
computer is making weird noises. Hmm. Like, my computer sounds like the neighbor that does some work in their flat. <laughs> Don't know if that's good. Can I open this? No. What is this room? Does this have any purpose? I mean, it's nice, but... Ah! Ah! What is this? Box cutter. Okay. Uh, where? There. Ah, oh, cool. Okay, no, I will not write all these down. At some point, I will... Hmm, do I want to go outside? I want to go outside. Let's look outside. I want to see everything. I'm really sorry. I'm... I'm wanky on my microphone so my sound will probably be really off sorry oh that was the radio right oh i can remove this yes yeah well, let's go away from this sound i don't like this Uh, oh. Okay. Well, okay. Hmm, what would I need a box cutter for? That was a box. <laughs> yes! Radiograph of fingers. But... Oh my god, it's so loud. I don't like it. Or maybe the... The lock is loose. I think I could open it by passing... Yeah. Oh. Not the box cutter? That would be... S okay, that is super weird. Why would I... Oh, it doesn't make sense. Okay, who's behind this? Creepy. No. Okay. Clinical history. Henry Williams, age 12. Yeah, Henry was... I don't know where it was. Uh, in which which uh, locker he had. Age 12, anamnesis. Patient uncooperative, refuses to respond and refers the injuries to an accidental fall. Physical examination. The patient has bruises and contusions on the face and forearm. Signs not compatible with fall. Blows. Name, Olivia Clark, 9. The patient does not respond to questions. After prompting, she says she fell last she fell last week playing. The injuries appear more recent. Signs not compatible. Pa patient has pain to the touch on the left side. Looks like a broken rib. The dust ear is full of similar... So someone in the orphanage hurts the kids. You have found a crayon. This is the key to our room. <gasps> oh! That's the stone door, right? I'll write something. Yes. I remember the screams, the bruises. God, those poor children. We did all of this. I what did you do? All of this. It's my fault. What did you do? Oh, that is nice. I like this. It's a cute idea. But damn, what did I do? Oh. This is the room. Huh? Penguin. Oh. <laughs> so, you know, you know. But yeah, I want to leave the penguin up. Okay. Um, so I was the teacher. So it's not me as a kid going... Okay. I cannot open this, right? Okay. Okay. So that's the same. Oh! 
Oh, I get it. I think. Um... I think I have, this is a puzzle. I probably have to have the right combination. But, where do I find information on this? Is that the lockers? Am I missing some info? Because we have those names here and the room numbers and it would make sense to have a list somewhere that tells us what toy they favorited but um, I don't see it anywhere hmm How? Oh. oh! It is a drawing. It looks like it was made by a child. It has something written on the back. My name is Hannah. And these are my friends, Olivia. Wait a minute. Uh, Hannah. Alyssa. Olivia. We're very different, but we love being together. Alyssa loves penguin animals and wants to be a marine biologist when she grows up although I don't know if that exists my friend Olivia wants to be a musician she says her parents were musicians too it makes me very envious when she talks about her parents I never knew mine I love to read okay Hannah book and when I grow up I would like to write stories like the ones we have in the library okay oh this is so loud can we close this okay which room Isaac and Harry. I don't care about you. Oh, these are also first floor. We don't care about that. Jennifer and Elizabeth. Olivia and Lisa. So, oh my god, this looks horrible. Well, no one will ever see this, so. Hannah and Barbara. Is that a joke? Because I think Hannah Barbara was like a film production studio. For the old, um, I think, King Kong movies and stuff like that. Like, there were for everything, I think. Alyssa and Evie. 202. Something fall? Oh, God. Just chaotic Let's Plays <laughs> on my end. Like, on a tiny desk. I should call them tiny desk Let's, let's Plays. You know, whoever likes indie music knows what I'm talking about. Okay. So, this is Penguin. Oh, that's all right. Um, five, that's the book, and that is the instrument. Plum, 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 plum. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thought I could take part in this, but apparently you're laughing at me and not with me. Um, did I? Oh, monkey. It's a stuffed monkey. I don't get an achievement. Oh, I do. Achievement. Monkey. Any other? Mm. Mm. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. It's a PT hallway. No. Don't do this to me. Ugh. Huh. Oh. 
Okay. Oh, good. I I was scared for a second that it would be like you need to take the right combination or whatever of you know left right front, but apparently not. Hello. Oh. Oh, apparently you do. But it's getting darker now. So oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Can I... <laughs> Try again. I'm an optimist, you know. What can I say? Oh, come on! <laughs> what? Aw. Oh, ew, no! Oh. That was cool. I love proportion horror. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like when arms are too long and faces are too big, people are too tall. Not tall people, I mean, they're just really, you know, slender man tall. Um, yeah, this game is weird and I because you know there are some things that really don't work but it has some singular really neat ideas and I think it plays quite well tragedy in the orphanage Whitehaven orphanage has been closed due to the disappearance of the girl disappeared last month without a trace which started an investigation at the orphanage <laughs> police discovered that children were being abused at the place has been closed and the staff is in police custody Damn, I mean, we already kind of knew that. But not the one about police custody. I'm sorry. Also, I like that this is fairly linear. I hope. I mean, little PT, you know, goes a short way. But that over and over again. Um... But so far there wasn't much backtracking. Is there anything else I can get here? I say as I completely... <laughs> I'm getting stuck. Oh, this... this... no. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yeah, okay. Normal thing. Like, also, horror games really overrepresent, you know, walking in the middle of walls. Is this a, an American thing? Because I don't even think that German buildings are built in a way that you can walk between the walls. Like, maybe it's a specific architecture style, I don't know. Yes, hello. Remember, the moon in the center face the moons. Moon center face moons. That's a puzzle and it sounds like one where I will not get it because I'm too... The moon in the center face the moons. What? Is there the moon? No, it's just fog. This is a creepy haunted room. It really is. Remember the moon in the center. Face the moons. Remember. But how am I supposed to face the moons? I don't... I, I knew it. I knew that I would not get this. Always in the direction where the moon is. But isn't it always in the same... Yeah, it's always in the same direction. Wait. There's two moons here. And they're in different directions.
I did it! Oh my god, it was by accident. I have no idea what I did. But thank god it's over. Yeah, I'm trying to get out as well. Come on, let's do this together. No, when I pull, you push. No, when I pull... When I... When I pull, you push. You hear me? God damn it. Sounds like my cat wants to come in. Oh, there was the moon! Alright, so we did, did- did we do something that has something to do with the moon? Werewolf kids. I'm calling it right now. Whoops! Oh yeah, so much PT. Some might say too much PT. And now it's getting a colossal and smaller. We all in our flats during the last couple of years. Now it's bigger again. Okay. Blap. Oh no, that's... I don't want to be here. Oh my god. Closing your eyes again? Oh no. The sewer? No, we're not going down there. Come on. Going down there. Oh, it's the moon. Oh, that's why. That's where the kids were sent to. So they didn't see the moon, they just saw... Oh my god, this is... If that really is it, then that's really good storytelling. I like that. And it's not super subtle, like, I don't feel incredibly smart now, but I feel... Smart... Smartish. But I feel like this is a good storytelling device. Um, do I have a flashlight? No. So dark. Anything I can do here? No. Wait. Ah! There we go. Thank you. I have found a wood pla- oh! oh! I get it. So now I can be like, uh, wait. Um... Oh, I'm so slow. Lady, can I take it? No. I'm running. I'm having the running button pushed, but she's not... No, she doesn't have... She, she doesn't want to. She's, you know, she's her own person. She makes her own decisions. Oh. This is my handwriting. This is a page from my diary. In the sewer? My name is Rose Davies, and I work as a teacher at Whitehaven Orphanage. I'm new here. I've only been working at the orphanage for a couple of months. However, it didn't take me long to realize that something was wrong. When I started, I was warned that these children might be troubled or need special treatment because of the things they had experienced. I'd worked with other children of all types before, and knew that the problem these children had was not in their past. My students brought marks and bruises practically every day. They were apathetic and reacted with fear to anything. One day I went to see Dr. Travis, the doctor in charge of children's health here at Whitehaven. Shortly after speaking with him, my suspicions were confirmed. The children were being abused by the orphanage staff. Dr. Tramis would not name names and said it was best for everyone to keep it all quiet. I couldn't leave things like that. I just... I couldn't. One night, I took the medical vials from the infirmary to blow the lid off all this. The watchman must have heard me, and as soon as he saw me with the vials, I ran. 
I left the orphanage and ran. I ran as fast as I could. The watchman was behind me. I couldn't stop to look at him, but I could hear his screams. I ran through the forest to try to lose him, but oh, okay. suddenly I felt a blow on my head and fell to the ground. My head had never hurt so much. I remember the trees pouring red as the blood poured down my face. The taste of iron being dragged through the forest as the branches of the pine trees dug into my legs. A red moon. A manhole cover. And now, I'm here. Abandoned. And here I will die. No one will ever read these words or know what happened in the orphanage. Everything is darkening. The only thing I regret is that I couldn't save those poor children. It's my fault. She never made it out? Aww. That's a bummer ending. Which means aww. So maybe the police report was also not real because nothing is real. <laughs> That was just what she envisioned would have happened if she would have made it. That is so sad! Hmm. Yeah, thank you, Jamie. Um, it was a nice game. I was entertained. I had fun. Nothing game-breaking. No bugs that were really frustrating. The puzzles were fine. Voice cast, Joy, amazing. I think sh Joy, amazing. Like, I know indie horror game voiceovers and Joy is on the on the upper level. Like, that was really lovely, very emotional, like, um, and very emoted, is that a right word? Um, like, I could emphasize with her. Like, it was good. It was not bored, but it also wasn't, like, overly dramatic. Uh, so yeah, the voiceover was really nice. I really like the music. It's very gorgeous. So Maiden, very gorgeous soundtrack. I don't know. I know. I I, I understand why this received mixed reviews because um, it's nothing new really. It has a few tired tropes, the PT sections, um, some of the early jump scares. Um, you know, where it's like, well, been there, done that. Like, if you've played a few horror games at a certain point, there's specific things that are not really scary anymore most of the time. However, um, also the story was not really the most unique one. I mean, you know, that's especially orphanages kind of, yeah, they're their own section in the indie horror game uh, library. But here's the thing. So um, it ran really th smoothly. I like the puzzles because... Um, there were not many, but the ones that they that, that were there were actual puzzles. Like, it wasn't just go there, get this, you know. Um, I I thought the collectibles were super cute. Um, I think some of the scares were really good. Um, you know, it was so that's, that's the thing. I was scared a couple of times. Um, so it was a funny mix between, ugh, and oh my god. <laughs> And I think the story moved, the pacing was really good. Um, the ending, I'm not the biggest fan of um, basically wrapping everything up with an outro, a huge outro text, whether it's, you know, voiced or not, but it's usually like, I explain everything towards the end. Not sure what I think about that. I mean, yes, we would have missed out on Joy's voice acting. So that would have been a shame. But also in a way it's, Hmm. I'm just contemplating because I just played this game whether the longer I think about it I actually like this ending because it didn't really explain it but it was more we'll f we find this diary and then it opens up to the twist. No, I think it's actually it's not my favorite way of wrapping up the story 
but you know what I actually I don't dislike it yeah like I take my first comment back I think it the way it was done it kind of fits to the story what I did like was uh, the element with the moon uh, the sickle moon and then the you know uh, the 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 gully um, I think y it, you didn't really need to explain it in the diary I think that is one of the because I like show don't tell I mean it's a rule that gets abused a lot of times um, you know sometimes it just works best if you tell it but in this case because it was already very clear what it was that the moon was actually you know the last thing she saw before she basically got hunted down and killed um, or you know got caught in this sewer system where she couldn't escape um, so there was no need to spell it out um, for the people but in general yeah I kind of I really like this it's so my again it's it's not like the best horror game I ever played but for an indie horror game I know I enjoyed it there were some spooks I actually thought that the story writing was pretty good um, you know it was a tropey story but it was told in a way that wasn't horrible and that is an important key part because especially with these stories that have been told over and over again at some point you will experience games that are so tone deaf or so absurdly comical without wanting to be comical that I like that this approach was a lot more reserved you know it wasn't overly dramatic I really appreciate that it didn't explain the abuse for example in detail which is something a lot of horror games I don't know whether they always did it but sometimes it feels like they they are going overboard you know nowadays just to shock people um, but they get very tasteless by doing that so I appreciate that I think the x-ray was basically a hint at the abuse but also the files but nothing was really over sorry nothing was too much you know um, nothing was crass which I really enjoyed so I think all in all this is a thumbs up for me I will recommend this game um, when I write this review on, on Steam <laughs> and um, yeah you know it's I think this is the kind of game that does things right that is very enjoyable to play and that had a few surprises in store for me what more do you want <laughs> Uh, so yeah, um, I will put the link to this game in the liner notes in case you want to play it yourself. I don't know how much it costs on Steam, but I don't think it was very expensive. Um, also, if you're new to this channel and you want to subscribe, you can do that. And I promise you, if you start working at my orphanage and you tell me that there is abuse going on, I will not hunt you down and let you die in a sewer system. So subscribe, I guess. Anyways, I hope you had a good time. I hope you have a wonderful day and maybe see you soon. Bye. This is my self-recorded outro song so I don't get hit with copyright claims. If you subscribe, you subscribe to a lot of fun tutorials, reviews and let's plays.